Grace, mercy, and peace to you today from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Phil Rigdon, pastor here at St. John Lutheran Church and School in Kendallville, Indiana. And uh, just want to bring out a few points today from a passage in the Gospel of Mark that is especially pertinent today as we are passing through the season of Lent. And I'll read a portion of that right now. It says, After six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up on a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became radiant, intensely white, and no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah and Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. Well, you think, why is it? What's, what's so necessary? Why does Jesus have to do this on this occasion right before he goes into Jerusalem? Well, there are a couple of reasons, and we're going to talk about that. But what's really interesting to notice is that how does Peter react when this happens? What does he say? Does he say, very good, there's Jesus Christ in all of his glory, and now let's go into Jerusalem and be about the business of salvation through Jesus Christ? No, he says, hey, you know what? Let's put up three tents, one for you, Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Now, it's hard to know exactly what uh, Peter was thinking about at this point, but we can definitely gather that Peter's mind was not on the ultimate goal, that perhaps Jesus, excuse me, Peter was thinking to himself, let's just stay here and let's learn about all of this. Jesus and Moses and Elijah, we got all the big players in the process. But instead, instead of doing that, Peter's mind should have been on, okay, how does this relate to the whole issue of salvation? And that, of course, is where we are in our sinfulness sometimes. We're thinking about, okay, Jesus, come and fix my problems right now. Come and make all of this okay for me. But I'm not really concerned, finally, about the cross and what this is all about. That Jesus is definitely here to help me in my life, but ultimately his mission on earth is my salvation, his death and resurrection on the cross. Now, why is it? Why is it so significant for us? Why does Mark want us to know about Jesus and his transfiguration? Well, right before he goes into Jerusalem for his passion, his death on the cross, we see Jesus as a reminder of who he is, that yes, he is a man, absolutely, fully, but he's also fully God, and so we see his glory. And it's as if Jesus is saying, don't forget don't forget who's going to the cross here for you. Yes, it is man, but it is also God who is going to suffer and die for the sins of all people. And so we look at this and we say, all right, how is God showing us his love? How do we know what God is like? We see it in his son, Jesus Christ. What is love? Here comes Jesus, and he shows us that love by suffering and dying on the cross for us not coming to establish his glory or to be praised, but instead to make for us salvation. And he does that, of course, through his death and resurrection on the cross. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful passage. We ask that you would protect us from the temptation of focusing on what you can do for us here on this earth instead of pointing instead to the cross. What a comfort it is to know that you show your love for us in Jesus Christ, who came into the world, came down from the Mount of Transfiguration, and then went into Jerusalem to suffer and die for us. Comfort us in this wonderful peace and joy of forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. It is my hope that this will be a blessing for you. Please know that you are in our prayers here at St. John Lutheran church and school. God's blessings to you. Bye-bye.